Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Snowbeck. Today we are going to do Unit 9, Notes 3. We're going to find lateral areas and surface areas of cylinders. And you can see these two shapes here are cylinders. This one on the left would be considered a right cylinder, and the one on the right would be considered an oblique cylinder. Here's the definition of a cylinder. It is a solid with congruent parallel circular bases connected by a curved surface. A solid with congruent parallel circular bases connected by a curved surface. Basically, a can. A can is another way of thinking of a cylinder. Similar to prisms, cylinders can also have lateral areas and surface areas. The lateral area is the area around the side of the cylinder, and the surface area would be any surface you could touch on the outside of the cylinder, including the two bases. The formulas are lateral area is 2 pi r h. You might recognize 2 pi r. That's the same as finding the circumference of the circle. So think of circumference of the circle times the height of the cylinder. Surface area, remember this includes the two bases, not just the area around the sides, but this is going to be 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. And the 2 pi r h is like the circumference, and the pi r squared is like an area of a circle. So think we're adding two circles, two pi r squareds, to get the total surface area. Number one, find the lateral area and surface area of the cylinder. Lateral area is 2 pi r h. So let's go through and find our values. 2 is 2, pi is pi, Radius, that's halfway across the circle. When they draw in the full red line going all the way across the circle, that means the diameter is 15. So this is going to be 15 divided by two or 7.5 is the radius. The height of this cylinder, the cylinder is laying on its side. So the height is the 18. It goes sideways because it's laying on its side. We have everything we need to know. So lateral area is two times pi times 7.5 times 18. Grab your calculator, type it in. Make sure you're using the pi button and you should get approximately 848.23 and it would be millimeters squared. That's your lateral area. Now they also want us to find surface area. And to get surface area, it's 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Well, we already have 2 pi r h. That's 848.23. That's what we just found. So then we're going to add on 2 pi 7.5 squared. And if you type that in your calculator, go ahead and try it. Make sure that this actually works for you. You should get 1201. 0.7 approximately. And again, it's a surface area and all types of areas are units squared, so millimeters squared. Let's try number two. Find the lateral area and surface area of a cylinder with a radius five inches and a height of nine inches. Let's practice drawing a cylinder. So do what I do. Draw an oval Draw two segments coming straight down that are parallel and congruent. And then you're going to draw another oval. The front part is solid. The back part is dotted so that it's hidden. The radius is 5. So go ahead and draw in the radius. And the height is 9. So label the height. And there it is. Lovely. Lateral area. Formula 2 pi r h. And so we have the r, we have the h. It's a matter of plugging them in. So 2 pi 5 9. Type that into your calculator. 
you should get approximately 282.7 and it would be inches squared. That's the lateral area, the area around the sides where the label of the soup can would go. And surface area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So the 2 pi r h, we just did that. That was 282.7. And now I'm going to add 2 pi 5 squared. And you're going to type it in. And it's 439.8 inches squared. Please pause the video and try number three. When you're done, unpause the video. All right, so here are my answers. If you need to pause the video and kind of check my work to see if you made a mistake or anything like that, feel free to pause. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next question. A soup can is covered with the label shown. What is the radius of the soup can? Why don't you do this? Pause the video and see if you can figure this one out. Give it a try first and then unpause it and I'll work through. So if you took this label and rolled it up to fit it around the can, the 15.7 would be the circumference. It'd be the, the distance around the bottom of the can. So circumference. And so think about the formula for circumference. Circumference is 2 pi r, or circumference is also diameter times pi. And it really doesn't matter which one of these you use. Um, so what you're going to do is plug in the 15.7 for the c. So you can go 15.7 equals, and you know what? I'm going to use the top one because it says find the radius. So it's 2 pi r. Divide both sides by 2. 15.7 divided by 2 is approximately 7.85. So we have 7.85 equals pi times r. Then divide by pi. And make sure you use the pi button. You get about 2.4987. So I'm just going to round that. It's approximately 2.5. Yeah, for the radius. And the label would be inches. And that's it. Yay, a nice short lesson. Will you guys now try Unit 9, Practice 3? Let me know if you have questions. Have a great night.